Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. We're gonna be playing alongside Keith, Mr. Nocturnal. Uh, you guys have seen me play with him and against him many times on the channel, whether it's just on ladder or competitive. So we're gonna get him um, again in another video. So definitely check out his Twitch if you guys have the chance. And we're also gonna be playing with Isla Fudgki. You guys know him as my IRL friend. I've uh, made a couple videos with him in Duo Showdown. He's been playing with us uh, a lot actually on the channel. And I definitely also recommend recommend checking out his Twitch. So it's TTV Keith and TTV I Love Fudge Cake. So definitely check them out. But for today's video, what we're going to be doing is heading on Nuts and Bolts, which is insanely sweaty right now. There's a ton of good players on it. Hopefully we don't match up against the super, super sweats because I just don't think we can win th with this. And we're going to be playing Triple Thrower. So you guys saw the semi recently when we played with Ash and OG. We played this in Gem Grab probably two, three weeks ago. And you guys really liked that video. So I thought, why not just bring it out and let's see what we can do on this map. So let's hop into it. Let's see if we can get some dubs. And yeah, let's just see what happens. So here we go into the first game. We're going to be going up against another thrower, a penny, and a primo. So I'd assume we do pretty good against a penny just because, you know, he ha she has a turret. But we're throwers, so we're probably going to be able to take it out. We're going to be laying against the dynamite over here. And that's probably going to be the easy part for us, is just laying up against another thrower. Because odds are we just will probably be better than them. Uh, we're able to get that penny to one shot over there. There is a bolt right here. Uh, I have my super, but I'm probably not going to use it just because this dynamite is already really, really low. We're able to get that first spot, and I'd assume we'd have a really, really strong offense. Just because it's triple thrower. Uh, we just got to make sure we don't die here. That would be really, really bad. We're able to juke that super, and this is like an opportunity where we can just go in. It's only a level 2 bot, but because we're triple thrower, we can probably make a lot happen. Fudge kick is going to go down. I'm going to go all out. And we got the safe basically to one shot. Keith can get a couple shots on there and take it out. Or I can get my super down or something. A super in one shot. There's a lot of ways we can win this game now. We're going to be able to try and help Fudge kick over there. Let's see if we can get this dynamite. I can walk up that right side. We're not able to get the kill over there. We're going to walk over here. We're able to pick up the kill in the dynamite, but he's able to kill us as well. So the tough part about our comp is going to be the defense. I don't think we're going to be able to defend well at all. So hopefully we can just walk up and end this over here. Myself and Keith both have the exact same idea. We're able to hit a couple shots on this Dyna. Keith's going to go in. He's going to lob some shots. I'm going to get two shots in and that is going to end the game. So we 100% would have lost. I just realized there is no way we're going to be able to defend at all so we're going to be able we, we're going to have to one push basically we're going to have to go all out and see what we can do so that's going to be the first dub a 758 dyna and then a couple of 600 so it wasn't the worst but wasn't the best competition let's hop into the next game and let's see what we can get okay so here we go into our next game and wow did we ever just get countered we're literally facing throwers three counters a leon a mortis and a bb this is ridiculous i have no clue how we're going to pick up the win here um, let's see if we can get some shots off. Oh, we're actually going to be able to pick up the kill there. We're going to put our Dino X stick right there, and we're actually going to be able to pick up two kills. And Keith's spinning. He knows we're getting countered this game. So we're going to have to make something really, really crazy happen, because I don't know how we're going to win this. We're just going to lob some shots right here, expecting the Mortis to go in. We're able to make a really good prediction, and we're also going to be able to take out that Leon. So I don't know how they're messing up like this, but we're just destroying them so far. Wow. This is actually pretty insane. Uh, we're able to get some shots off over there. We're going to use our super on the on the safe. Hopefully, we're able to pick up a shot on the BB2. We are going to be able to. We're just juking this BB over here. Hopefully, we can get one more shot. And I don't know how, but we're able to one push an 815 Leon, an 800 BB, and a six, almost 650 Mortis. I mean, those are literally the three biggest counters to, dy to Dynamite Tick and Barley. I have no clue how we just did that. That's absolutely insane. Um, yeah, that's, that's ridiculous, especially since we're playing with Fudge Cake, who isn't really that good at the game, kind of just my IRL friend, I'm just playing with him for fun, that's pretty crazy, um, I'm so, I'm super surprised we won that, so anyways, let's hop into our third game, hopefully we get a tough matchup like, or matchup like that again, let's just hop into it and see what we can get, okay, so here we go into our next game, we're gonna be going up against Bull, Shelly, and Barley, so this comp we might actually have some success against, just because, you know, it's shotgunners, we can hide behind walls and kind of do as we please, Shelly's just going to get absolutely destroyed trying to get that bolt. That's definitely what, we, what our comp is good at. We can just spam areas and kind of block it off. Let's see if we can pick up that kill over there. We are going to be able to. And the Shelly's just going to walk towards us. We're not going to give her a chance to live. So they're going to they're gonna get a tie, which isn't bad. It's actually the first team that even got this close to us, I guess, so far. So pretty good on them. 
Gonna get our super here. We're probably gonna hit two opponents. We are going to be able to. We did just waste that super, but I guess that Shelly just wasn't having it. She knew she was gonna die, so she just stood still. We're able to get a team wipe over there as we're able to take out that Barley. So we're one shot. Probably shouldn't have moved up that far, but you know, we did anyways. We're able to get our super off on that bull. We're able to pick up the kill. And we're just absolutely destroying so far. Nowhere for them to go at all. Able to get the Shelly and the Barley. So that's two consecutive team wipes. We're all just spinning. We know what is going to happen this game. It's inevitable. The bull's going up towards Keith. Keith's going to be taken out. Uh, the bull is right beside me, which obviously is not very OP for us. He's juking. Oh, I used my super bags. I didn't even realize. Okay, so what looked like an, an easy one push is actually looking a little bit... A little bit weird right now. The, our bot's already at 67 H, uh, 64 percent HP. They have some good defense. I'm just gonna lob some shots off on the safe, but they're defending this like crazy right now. So we're gonna need some really, really good mid control over here in order to secure that we won the game. We're gonna hide in these bushes over here just so we can get a sneak super off onto the Shelly. Actually, let's get it off on the bull. Maybe we can get two at once. We weren't able to, but still we're able to connect on our super. We only hit one of the shots on the Shelly. The Shelly's gonna be able to take us out. And this is looking pretty interesting. They're both one shot. I'm hoping Fudge Cake and Keith can handle that. Oh, I don't know how Keith doesn't have a kill there. No. I don't know what's happening now, but it looks like they're going to get this bot. So they have just secured the bot, and I don't think we can defend this, to be honest. So this is going to be a little bit interesting over here. We're just going to have to try and take out as many as possible. Not going to be able to take out that Barley. The Barley is the key to defending here. We have to be able to take him out. I don't think we're going to be able to. This is going to be a loss. No. The BM. Why did we Why did we BM? We shouldn't have done that. We had the game in the bag. A couple spins and just an immediate loss. I don't know what happened. I thought we won that. But <laughs> anyways, it's going to be the end of game three. Let's hop into the fourth game. We're going to do five. I guess let's see if we can go four and one with, with, a, with a little bit of a stinky loss. Let's hop into the next game and see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our next game, and we're going to be facing Rico, Barley, and a Primo. So that's a pretty good matchup, I guess, for us. The Rico can give us some problems, but I don't think it will. We're going to be laned over here against the uh, the Primo. He's probably just going to go around and try and get that bolt. We're going to try our best to not allow him, but he's just too big for us to deal with. We're going to be able to get that kill over there and not let him cash in that bolt, but it looks like they are going to win this one. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, we're able to pick up that tie. Gonna get that shot off and be able to kill the Barley over there. Primo's gonna walk right back to our side, and we're just gonna be able to make really quick work of him. He's one shot over there. We're gonna be able to keep pick up that kill. And Primos are pretty easy for us since they have nowhere to hide behind. And if you can hit your shots with Dynamite, it's super, super easy to pick up that kill. So we're gonna help Fudge Cake and have him stay alive over there. We're gonna get some shots off on this Primo. Really, really good combination over there. He's able to do 8k damage in like literally a second, so that's really good. We're going to walk back, pretend like we're not focused on the Rico, move to the side, and he moves to the side so he didn't end up getting our super off. But the best part, or the most uh, efficient way to hit your supers, the best way to hit your supers, are by pretending you're not focused on the brawler you're aiming at. So I'm just walking one way, and then I'm just going to pull off to the right side, for example, and get and shoot my super. They're not going to be expecting it at all. Like I was just walking back over there. Primo didn't realize that I was looking at him. We got a really easy shot off on him. Over there, I'm expecting the Rico to go to the left. We're able to get that kill on him. And here, we're 100% going to have to take out the the uh, the safe, or it's going to be a pretty quick loss for us. We're going to die, but we're going to get some good shots off over there. The bot and the throwers are going to be able to take out that safe, and that is going to be another win. So we're 3-1 so far. I'd say we're doing pretty good despite our BM loss. We're going to hop into one final game. Hopefully, we can go 4-1, and one, and we have a positive video. Let's hop into it, and let's see if we can get the dub. Okay, so here we go into the last game and we're gonna be facing a Bo, a Jesse, and I think it was a Bulls. So this one might be a little bit tougher for us. Probably the hardest matchup we've gone. We're just gonna spam this bull. Uh, that's gonna be a really easy kill. That's probably what we're best at is just absolutely spamming a bolt and being able to pick up a kill straight away. We're also able to get that bow. So we're gonna get this first bot over here. Again, we're gonna move to the left, kind of just pretend we're not shooting it. Okay, we went a little bit too far that time. I was over exaggerating it. But that's what you want to do. You want to definitely pretend like you're not going to be going for them and then use your super. It's the most effective way to get the kills. And I definitely recommend practicing that. We're going to go down here. So we're not going to have a good push at all. As all three of us are just spawning over here. So we're just probably going to get some mid control. Try and get a good second push. And that's going to be the push that we're going to intend to get the win on. So we're going to do 0% with this push. Which obviously 
is not very good. So we're gonna try and hold down this right side over here. Heath is going to go down, but she's gonna launch his super, and he's probably gonna be able to pick up that kill. He is going to be able to. We're gonna use our super, it's gonna go for waste, but we're probably gonna be able to pick up that kill. Okay, we're not gonna be able to. Aimed our shot for a little bit too long, so we weren't able to get the bull over there. It's gonna be a really, really close finish, actually. It might end up in a tie. Uh, let's see what happens. 5-5, five, five, and it will be a tie, but that's actually, that's not bad. I mean, there's only like 30 seconds until, oh, 45, my bad. Until the next siege, we have really good positioning. As long as we don't go down, we have the win, basically. We're getting this left side really, really well. No one's walking in on us. We're able to get a kill on that bow, and we just have a 7 advantage. I mean, we're, we have the control, we have 30 seconds left. We just gotta chill here and do whatever. We're gonna have a really, really strong bot coming at us. We're going to get a surprise super over there on that bull. We're going to be able to take him out, but we're going to go out by double mine. You hate to see it happen, but I mean, it happens. So we have an 18, 19. Let's see how high we can get this. This is going to be really, really strong. We got 20 right now. Let's see what we can do. This is going to probably be the last one we can pick up. So we're probably going to get a 23 bot, which is absolutely unreal in this new siege. Oh, a 24. So he's just going to be raging up one side of the map. There he goes. Like an absolute beast and me and him are just gonna go and 1v1 that bull and just try and take out this safe because this bot is not messing around we're gonna go down but the bot is just going crazy on that safe going absolute rage mode they're able to take it out 26 percent to their safe but that is going to end the game it's gonna be 100 percent to 26 percent it's gonna be a four and one record on the video and that's going to be it so honestly triple thrower isn't that bad on this map but i do think you guys need some pretty good skill and able to pull it off but yeah, that's going to be it. So anyways, GG's. Thank you guys for watching the video. Definitely check out both of their Twitches that I mentioned. They're really good streamers, both really good at their own thing. So definitely check them out. That's going to be it for the video. I'm so excited tomorrow for the last star powers to drop. I'm going to make a full list of all, I think it's 54 star powers currently in the game. It's going to be absolutely unreal. And it's just going to be a great list. I'm going to put them all together. And hopefully it's going to be really helpful to help you guys with purchasing with your coins, which you want to get in the shop and whatnot. And yeah, that's going to be it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I like doing these fun videos and then doing informative ones a day after. So you guys kind of get the best of both worlds. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely leave a like if you can on the video. would appreciate it a lot. I will be back tomorrow with some more gameplay, probably some star powers. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I will catch you guys later. Peace.